Hello, this is CDX Technologies, and in this video we'll cover new routing and geocoding features being added to CDX Zipstream. We are now supporting the use of data from the location technology company HERE. HERE has over 8,000 employees and provides map data online and in GPS devices such as Navtech and Nokia. You can get additional information by visiting their website at here.com. Two new functions have been added, CDX Locate Here for geocoding and CDX Route Here for distance calculations. These capabilities have been added to version 5 of CDX Zipstream. They will be active in the CDX Zipstream Bing version or better and can be evaluated in the CDX Zipstream demo. Let's start Microsoft Excel and take a look at these new capabilities. We've already installed CDX Zipstream version 5 on this computer as you can see by the presence of it in Excel's top menu. The simplest way to access CDX Zipstream formulas is to right click on a blank cell. Then choose the CDX Zipstream functions menu option and select the desired formula in the list that follows. You will now see both CDX locate here and CDX route here in this list. Let's take a look at CDX locate here first. Clicking on this option brings up the following dialog. This dialog is virtually identical to the geocoding function for Bing, named CDX Locate Bing, and operates in a similar way. Location data can be entered in a single line or broken out by street, city, state, and postal code in a multi-line address format. The items returned include best match, latitude, and longitude, along with address information such as postal code and county. Let's return latitude information for an address 2 West Hanover Avenue in Randolph, New Jersey. Simply type in the address in the single line entry, select latitude from the return data drop down, and press OK. This enters a formula in Excel which automatically returns the requested data from the HERE API. You can also just enter the formula in Excel in a similar fashion to others that you may be familiar with, such as SUM or AVERAGE. As an example, we'll simply copy the formula for latitude to an adjacent cell. Then we'll edit the formula to return longitude for this address by entering a 2 in the first parameter field. CDX Locate Here can also perform reverse geocoding. First select a blank cell in the next column and bring up the CDX Locate Here dialog. Choose the multi-column option, but instead of text, enter the cell address for the latitude and longitude entries, and then select best match. That would be D4 and E4. We'll choose best match and press OK. This returns the address we originally geocoded. Let's open up a new worksheet and review how CDX Locate Here can easily be applied to lists. For this list of addresses, we'd like to get the matching zip code. Select the first row in the nearest blank column and bring up the CDX Locate Here dialog. Select the multi-line address option. Then enter the cell addresses for each item in row 2. That's A2, B2, and C2. Select the zip code for the return data. Make sure auto copy is enabled with set to text. Check the ambiguous flag to allow medium confidence results and then click OK. This will return the zip codes for the list. Note how here is able to return zip plus 4 for US addresses. 
Setting the formulas to text will prevent them from recalculating and making additional requests to here if you sort or filter the list. Rather than using autocopy, you can always just enter the formula directly and copy it down your list. Let's create a new worksheet and take a look at using the routing function CDX route here. As before, select this function in the CDX Zipstream menu. This brings up a dialog where we can enter two addresses for a route. They can be specific street addresses or they can be more general addresses such as a zip code or city. So let's enter a full address for the first to West Hanover Ave in Randolph, New Jersey. And a zip code for the second, 08033. This is the zip code for Haddonfield, New Jersey. For this case, we will select a route which represents the distance of the quickest route between the two addresses. We'll also specify that the route calculations will be the driving distance in miles and the travel type will be set to driving. There are additional travel types in here of walking and truck. The truck route option will take into account roads that are optimized for commercial travel. Then simply click OK to send these locations to the HERE API and return the result. 94.6 miles is the calculated distance of the quickest route. Now this type of calculation can be performed by other web-based mapping programs such as Google Maps or Yahoo. But the big advantage of doing this in Excel is that we can easily apply this to a list of addresses in a worksheet simply by copying and pasting the formulas as we have shown with the CDX locate here function. Simply enter cell references rather than text for the locations. Please note that this function will currently only work for routes with a start and an end point. Each route calculation may take up to three calls to here since the API requires latitude and longitude not a text address. So both locations need to be geocoded by CDX Zipstream before calculating the route. In the case of zip code, CDX Zipstream will attempt to use its local zip code data for geocoding before making an external request to cut down on the number of calls to here. For existing users of CDX Zipstream, the new here features will be available to anyone who has purchased in the last year or anyone with an active data maintenance subscription. You will need to download and install the latest CDX Zipstream version 5 and reactivate your software using the account button in the CDX Zipstream menu. If you don't reactivate you will not have access to the new features. This will not affect the number of computers that you can reinstall CDX Zipstream on. CDX Zipstream customers without an active data maintenance plan will be able to try out the new HERE functions, but will be limited in the number of requests they can make during a single Excel session. Your online account at cdxtech.com can be used to purchase a maintenance plan and get full access. You will also need to get a HERE API key. You can get this key by visiting developer.here.com. To request a key, first click on Sign Up. This will open a form so you can submit your email and other contact details. After completing this, you should quickly receive an API key for the freemium or other data plan requested. The freemium plan has no cost and does not require a credit card to open. The freemium plan allows up to 250,000 requests per month. Additional requests above this amount are charged at a rate of 1,000 requests per dollar. This is a significant benefit when compared to the 125,000 requests per year for Bing Maps and pricing for Bing Enterprise Keys. Higher usage plans such as Pro are available that allow up to 2.5 million requests per month. Once you receive your API key, this can be entered in the CDX Zipstream menu settings option or in the HERE API settings option on the HERE function dialogs. For more information, please visit us at www.cdxzipstream.com. 
A free version 5 demo is available along with example templates and technical information about the product. Please don't hesitate to contact us about the demo or with any other questions by emailing support at cdxtech.com. If you would like to be alerted to new videos we release, please consider subscribing to the CDX Tech channel on YouTube and turn on notifications. These videos will also be available on our website. Thank you again for listening and considering us for your location analysis needs.